I mean, it's such a it's such an interesting thing because obviously the Don Wall was such a huge deal for climbers. Like everyone was just rooting for you. It was you know like the climbing world was paying attention to what you were doing. Were you surprised by the level of interest that the broader sort of mainstream culture took in it? I mean, I think before Kevin and I went for our big push, the you know climbers were paying attention. Um, but then when we were on our push and John branch started publishing the articles in the New York times, that's when it really blew up. And I was completely surprised. Like, I, I mean, of course, nobody, I don't think that had really ever, I mean, I guess it probably had happened in climbing before, but you know, certainly not in my generation in a way that I understood. So it seemed absurd. Like I fully still don't understand it. Yeah. And, and like what, like from your perspective, you know, what, like was it you did an interview with john um he said he reached out to kevin on twitter or something like that you guys do an interview and then it does your phone start going off the hook like what ha- like how how do you experience that while you're living on the wall um that sudden interest i mean we were like in this little bubble up there on the wall we didn't really it's just, it just felt like me and kevin and and brett lowell our, you know our film film guy was up there with us and it was just like our little team And so getting a call from New York from John branch was like a little bit surreal, but it didn't really change the experience at first. It just felt like this one-off thing. And I think since Kevin and I have been kind of quote unquote professional climbers for a long time, we occasionally do interviews with more major media sources. We didn't know at that point what was going to happen because of that interview. Mm -hmm. And then um, I was also trying to think back uh, when like, when did good cell coverage, I mean, like decent cell coverage show up on El Cap? I like, I couldn't remember that. Like it, the last time I climbed it was probably like 2014 or something like that. And I, I feel like maybe then I had cell coverage, but when, do you remember when that happened? Yeah. So we, so we topped out the Don wall in 2014. Um, mm-hmm. And it was great then on the right side of El Cap. Yeah, you know, I, I don't know for sure because mostly I would climb on the left side of El Cap, and the mm-hmm. service was not good over there. Um, well, let's let's try and simplify that a little bit. I think probably around 2010 or so, the cell phone service got really good. Mm-hmm. Okay, I couldn't remember. Yeah. Um, right on. And then the like, did you? Could you see the like news like as you guys got closer to the top? Could you see the news trucks in the in the in the meadow in the whole thing? Like, were you prepared for like what would you'd find on the valley floor when you guys got down? Yeah, I mean, after that first interview, you know, something struck a chord. Everybody started paying attention, and that we we did feel that like we were getting lots of requests at one point actually kevin and i just had to have this conversation and we're like how are we going to deal with this like we can't spend our whole days just doing interviews and and it just all felt kind of stressful to think about the fact that so many people were watching us especially since kevin was in the middle of like failing basically um and so we actually made this decision that we uh weren't going to accept any more interview requests or anything like the only thing we're going to do is outgoing we're going to do our little instagram posts and that was it but at the same time we could look down in the valley floor and see trucks and see that these interview requests were coming in and um yeah it it did seem pretty crazy although we didn't fully understand it still because like i said it was just it was just the it was just really the three of us up there on the wall yeah and and uh what I mean, after getting to the top and like what stands out in your mind, um, you know, in in, of those next few days, because weren't you guys on Ellen? And like, I I just I feel like it was kind of insane. I was trying to remember back. Yeah. So the last day um, climbing to the top or the last two days, really, um, we had this sense that something crazy was going to go down because you know the news trucks were building everybody knew that we were gonna basically succeed and make it to the top when we got about four or five pitches from the top there was like this crowd of people that had all hiked around and we could look over to the east and see this ledge with like (laughs) with like a ton of people cheering for us and we could actually start to kind of communicate with them not over cell phones a little bit 
and then and then when we topped out that was when it was really crazy because there was you know 50 people up there mm-hmm. lots of reporters who would you know never hiked more than like a mile in their life they'd like found ways to get to the top of el cap and hire guides and it was in the middle of the winter and then and then um you know president obama was trying to get a hold of us and <laughs> yeah it was it was super insane and that that was really like those last few days and then that moment of topping out where when it really really struck us how sort of insane the media event was mm-hmm. did you end up talking to obama i never talked to him something something happened he tried to call when we were on top but it didn't really work and then he and then apparently he tried to call the next day but i was in yosemite west and um and it just never quite worked out so he posted this thing on twitter instead 